What's going on guys? I just got this new Mega Best Sleeper Goo. Just came out. This bait is amazing. We're throwing it around a little. And it just, the action on this tail is amazing. I'm gonna go throw this thing around. See if we can get some bites in this little pond. There we go. I think he ate it as soon as it hit the water. And just like with every sleeper they make, it is gone. Not a giant, but I'll take it for sure. Off he goes. So far, I definitely like the way this thing uh, hops across the bottom. Same thing as a dark sleeper, really. But, I mean, you can also swim it. The tail kicks like crazy. Whoa. I ain't got little ones munching this thing. <clears throat> That's not a little one. That one was not swimming it. That one was just on the bottom. There we go. I'll take that one all day. Oh, just came off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dark sleeper gill, two pounder. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, that's another good one. Holy crap, that's a giant. Stay pinned. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Sleeper gill. <clears throat> Absolutely destroyed the sleeper gill. <laughs> that's going to be close to four. All right, I'll take that, I'll take that all day. Almost a four pounder. I crushed it. There she goes. I think it's a very, very slow fall. So it has a giant tail compared to the dark sleeper. Dark sleeper's tail is nowhere near as fat as that. There's one. I saw that one eat it in this clear water. Oh, and it's absolutely choked. It's like a two pounder. Gone. Just straight gone. Like, there's nothing. Like, they eat this thing. I was just thinking, like, Around any bluegill beds, I'm not seeing any, but if I see any, I think this bait would be amazing around bluegill beds, and I know it would do amazing when they are, when the bass are spawning. And I know this one, this pond sometimes has some late spawners, so I'm just trying to see if I can find one. Off this one goes. Oh, that one's small. Still absolutely down his throat. Like, I mean, with any dark sleeper bait, it's just gone. Oh, this thing's starting to get torn up. Good thing I bought quite a few of them. Off you go.
and it's pretty big. Stay pinned. I almost fell over on the hook set. Whew. Another two pounder. Yo, parents. Throat. Just straight demolish. That's a nice one. Put her back over. There she goes. Another one, same exact cast, out in the middle. And it's a pretty big one. Oh my goodness, when they eat this thing, they thump it like crazy. Ho oh, oh. ho. All right, this one is a bit bigger. I'm not gonna flip her. Like, just look, every single one, gone. Like, it's not even, it's just, it's not even funny. It's stupid. This last two has just been out in the middle, working it. Hopping it off the bottom. The best part about this bait is you can fish it shallow and deep. I've caught them. Middle of the pond, shallow. Can't wait to take it on like a big body of water. I think this is going to about do it for now. I mean, as you can see, it's been munched. Definitely chewed up. They love it. I mean, I didn't know exactly what to expect from this, but I, mean, I knew it was going to be good. They had a tough act to follow with the Dark Sleeper, but this definitely, definitely is a winner. Especially in those lakes that you don't have gobies when you're largemouth fishing. I mean, I'm sure smallmouth will crush this too. But this is just more universal, I think, down south, um, anywhere, really. Can't wait to get out and test this more.